LLCM is used to find a common time for events or meetings that repeat at different intervals. For example, finding the LLCM of different bus schedules to determine when the next bus will arrive, when adding or subtracting fractions with different denominators. The LCM is used to find a common denominator. LCM is used in financial markets for finding synchronized trading strategies or to detect recurring market patterns. Hello, my friends. Today we're going to talk about LLCM, least common multiple. As I mentioned earlier, understanding it is important. To derive the LCM of two or more numbers, we need to follow some steps. The first step is prime factorization. As you may know, prime numbers are those that can only be divided by one and themselves. The category of prime numbers begins with two and continues with three, five, and so on. To achieve prime factorization, we should begin by dividing the numbers by prime numbers. Let's start with an example. 12 is divided by 2, then 6 is divided by 2, and finally, 3 is divided by 3. This leads us to 1. We should pick all the prime numbers and multiply them together. So, we can say 12 equals 2 squared times 3. Now, for another example. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Following the pattern to reach 1. We can write 18 as 3 squared times 2. You should continue this pattern for two more examples. 210. And finally, 600. The next step to consider is listing the common prime factors. You should compare two or more numbers to determine whether they have prime numbers in common. If they do, you should write down all the common prime factors. Otherwise, you can skip this step. If you pay attention, 12 and 18 have 2 and 3 in common. Similarly, 12 and 210 have 2 and 3 in common, as in the previous example. Finally, 210 and 600 have more than two prime factors, which are 2, 3, and 5. In the third step involves listing the uncommon prime factors. In this step, we should choose the prime factors that are not in common. For example, 12 and 18 have nothing except for 2 and 3, which are common. But 210 has 5 and 7, in addition to 2 and 3, so we should write 5 and 7 for 12 and 210. If you pay attention, 210 has 7, which is not present in the prime factorization of 600. The last but not least step is the multiplication rule. In this step, we should consider all the previous steps at once. First, 
Choose the common prime factors for two or more numbers. Then select the largest exponent from each number. Second, pick all the uncommon factors. Finally, multiply them together. As we derived earlier, 210 and 600 have three prime factors in common. When you pay attention, the prime factor 5 squared in 600 has the largest exponent compared to the factor 5 in 210. Similarly, 2 cubed in 600 has the largest exponent compared to the factor 2 in 210. Lastly, the factor 3 is the same in both of them. But as you can see, 7 is the only factor that is not in common. So we should multiply all these numbers to achieve LCM of 210 and 600. As a result, we can say the LCM of 210 and 600 is 4200. We have provided you with some practice examples along with their answers. I suggest you pause the video, work on the practice questions, and then check your solutions to determine their correctness. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing the videos with your friends. See you in the next session.